newly released documents and deathbed confessions from scientists involved in top-secret Nazi development, paints a picture of a race to develop a supercraft, codenamed Die Glocke, or the Bell, which would have changed the face of history forever. In fact, the idea of the Nazis developing a flying saucer wasn't such a crazy idea at all. They had for years been at the cutting edge of aircraft design, with early prototypes for vertical takeoff jets and even fixed wing and stealth technology. German engineers were and still are among the very best in the world. If they set their hearts and minds on developing, whether it was an aircraft or a submarine or anything new and unusual and superior to what they considered to be their opponents, then I believe it was within their capabilities that there were some very strange, very unusual experimental Nazi aircraft in the air before the war ended. All indications are the Nazis were ahead of all of the Allied nations in terms of technology. First-hand accounts tell us that from as early as the 20s and 30s, their technology far outstripped anything else on the planet. But how did people move the giant sarsens up to 45 tons of solid rock? <laughs> 